Hi, Sarah. Hi, hi, Sarah. Hi, hi, Sarah Cook from. Hey, you guys. How are you guys doing today? Yeah, very Great. fine. How are you? Yeah, very good. I was just saying um, in the previous uh, interview that I'm just like halfway through episode three um, and I'm like on tenterhook still right now and like my heart's still going because there's so much going on. Um, so yes. congratulations on such an incredible show. Thank you. That's good that you're on tenterhooks. Yeah, it's really, really good. I was wondering if we could just start by introducing the audience to your characters um, as part of the show. Sure. I'm I play I'm Layla and I play Gabby or Gabrielle Hoffman and I'm Alex Hoffman's uh, wife. And me, me, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm playing uh, I'm playing a, a Swiss uh, detective uh, with the name is uh, Jean Philippe Leclerc, and uh, that's why they choose a French guy or a, a French talking uh, guy. And uh, I am uh, I am the detective in charge of uh, this huge story. Absolutely. Um, so, what drew you guys to the project in the first place? Uh, I'd never done a psychological thriller, and um, I love the book. I think Robert Harris is a genius, and um, I suppose I like the international feel of it. Um, I I heard actually that Gregory was going to be on board. I was very excited about that. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to try something different, um, a sort of horror slash psychological thriller um, project. Yeah, the, the same. Um, I first, I never, I, ne I never shot in English, so it was uh, it was quite a challenge for me, and I was very frightened about that uh, because I was not sure. I was not uh, sure to to to, to yeah to be. Um, uh, to be the good choice, but uh, it's always the same problem in life. <laughs> and uh, but um, finally, I I really enjoy this moment because um, I, I I really like my character. I really like th this guy. Uh, I, is maybe uh, is maybe is quite funny and uh, and is very uh, is very different from. All the other one, uh, and I think it's what what what's good for the story. And uh, I met delicious people like, of course, Leila, Asha, and uh, and Josh. It was a, a fantastic experience. But I I, I, did, I didn't know this uh, book writer. I didn't know this writer, and I, I knew that it was a uh, very famous and it was really brilliant. A brilliant guy, a uh, brilliant writer. Sorry, uh, and uh, it was uh, I discovered something new. So it was exciting to to discover this writer and this entire world. It's too uh, long. Yeah, <laughs> no, 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 no. It's all good. It's all great. I was going to say that I really enjoy your detective because he comes and he just doesn't trust Alex straight away. Yeah, yeah. Never, never. He's very. I don't know how to say, but... Um, it's trusting. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Merci, Lena. <laughs> and there's also a kind of... Um, he makes this comment about wealth and how he was kind of forced out of his own city uh, by the wealthy and Alex. Do you think there's a little bit of, I just don't want to believe him because he's the rich and wealthy who's in my own turf? Uh, and so, yes, of course, of course, of course. Uh, this guy is absolutely different different from uh, from the other one is uh, from the um, from the American one. Uh, and so he discovered a world and uh, is not very trustful. Uh, all the guys, uh, you know, he was born not far from here. Uh, he is living in a small, small village, uh, very peacefully. In uh, you know, so when he have to, when he have to to work on this case, on this strange case, of course, it's uh, he knew he know that something could be, maybe it could be huge. Uh, it, it could be a huge story. So so. I think is more involved in this affair in this case than the other one. So I think he's a very normal detective at the beginning of the story and at the end of the story uh, is the better one. Is, yeah, you know, is more, uh, uh, you know what I mean? 
Absolutely. Um, and Layla, from the beginning, uh, the kind of Hoffman's marriage seems like a dreamy marriage in the first opening sequences. And then sort of like this distrust and secrets start to appear after the attack. How was it developing that with uh, Josh? Um, it was it was great, actually. We, we really wanted to make sure that we that, that their love was a, was a, a kind of recurring theme throughout. And even even at the end, when it's really being tested you know they love each other and so is marriage at least that where they're still attracted to each other and happy and you know enjoying each other's company makes it all the more painful and tragic when it all falls apart and uh, she feels like the wall's been pulled from her eyes and is kind of going oh my god is this you know have you do I not know who you are and that, of course, it would be a terrifying prospect to start to wonder if the person that you're living with and sharing your life with is not the person they pertain to be. And I suppose because, you know, it's a Brit and an American living in a, um, in a foreign place where you're even more reliant on each other. And, you know, we don't hear much mention of their friends or their friendship groups. So really, I feel like they are it for each other. So if that is damaged in some way, it's, it's um, devastating. Absolutely. Um, and I also find her artwork is so fascinating um, and it really plays into the kind of other aspects of the story. Um, what research did you look into in MRIs and especially her own grief and memory and how fear plays on that? Yeah, I think it's really interesting. I think it's a really interesting um, kind of technique that Robert Harris did, which says that she took her grief and she channeled it into her creativity, which is her art, her work. Um, and it's sort of science and art overlapping, which is interesting, taking those MRIs and making them a thing of beauty and wonder um, with Perspex. Um, the, the artist, they are actually by a brilliant artist, and I hope I'm getting her name right. I think she's called Angela Carter. It's so embarrassing if she's not called that, but let's just go with Angela Carter. <laughs> um, and um, yes, she's she's an, an absolute huge intellectual, brilliant artist who, dissects bodies and brains and skulls and does build them up on sheets of perspex but I think to break apart anything like that is fascinating deconstructing any received thing like the brain that we just see as this round strange slimy thing and breaking it down into sheets is is an interesting thing and this is what the show is doing it's breaking down the the elements of fear you know what is fear why do you feel fear how much does fear affect people? What does fear make people do? It's, it's about breaking it all down, I think. Absolutely. Um, and by extension of that, I feel like Gregory, your character as a detective has to kind of exploit people's fear to get to the heart of the crime. What kind of investigation did you do into police work and detective work? You, you know, I think that everything is written in the script as so every time. So um, all the things around, and of course, I'm, I'm trying to have a look, but you, you know, you know, uh, as well as me that um, we can find, uh, we can find a story about a detective in all the TV show in the, all around the world. So it's not so easy to know how it works um, uh, so much. Uh, but what's interested me, it's uh, the gap, the real gap between this character and the other one. And and how could I, how could I make uh, a, a different detective than we can, uh, a, a, a detective a little bit different than the other one in the other TV show, you know? And um, but in fact, I when I read the script, I uh, immediately think about Mr. Colombo and that's why uh, I, I wanted to be I wanted to be um, dressed like him it was my it was a little homage to uh, Mr. Colombo because Colombo at the first time you see him you say oh fuck he never he, he is he is not able to 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 in to detect anything you know is but um, finally is more is smarter and more intelligent than that we thought. And I wanted to do exactly the same thing. When you see this character, you say, oh yeah, what's gonna happen with him? Uh, yeah, he's just out of the, he just goes out of his village. And, but finally this man is more, um, is maybe smarter than he looks like. And that's why it interested me. That's really great because I actually had Columbo in my notes here. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> 
because it was really it was a real it was a true reference for me i wanted yeah i, I thought it was funny to make uh, to to try to, to yeah to try to have this uh, reference yeah i love that well you guys do it so brilliantly i can't wait for people to watch the cz series because it's got me hooked um, and I'm going to go back and finish watching the episodes now. Um, enjoy the rest of your day. And thank you so much for talking with me today. Thank, thank you very much. Sarah. Thank bye, you. bye, Sarah. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys.